Hundreds of Palestinians assembled and erected a protest village in the occupied West Bank. Located north of the Dead Sea in the Jordan Valley region, the protest village is situated among the ruins of Ain Hijla, a historic Palestinian village. Well, we're revitalizing and bringing back life to a village that was killed by the Israeli army in 1967, where people were evacuated and houses were destroyed. The original Palestinian inhabitants were forcefully expelled from the village by Israeli forces during the 1967 war. Israeli forces have surrounded the area around the village and had arrested several activists en route to the area. They have also blocked food and water from entering the village. The army raided the village, but they didn't come all the way inside the village. Uh, and we blocked the soldiers from entering the village. After all, we're here to stay. I mean, we've revived the village, we're working on, on the land, we're renovating the houses, and we're here to stay. Uh, we've managed to stay for five days. The idea of retaking the village came in response to recent statements made by several Israeli officials regarding the annexation of the Jordan Valley in the eastern part of the West Bank. This is an area C and Jordan Valley, which the Israeli government is trying to keep and build settlements in and Judaize and even in any future solution, they want to annex this land, this area, because it represents the borders of the future state. The activists in the protest village have also renounced the U.S.-sponsored negotiations between Israel and the PLO and urged the Palestinian leadership to stop negotiating with the occupier and join the popular resistance. The new residents of the village do not rule out the possibility of having the same fate as the village's original Palestinian inhabitants. Force eviction at the hands of Israeli forces. For Press TV, Hanna Kassis and Hijla, Occupied Jordan Valley.